Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Inspired Moments with Jumoke. I'm so glad for those who have been joining us week in, week out, and I hope that you've been learning. All right, this week we're going to be learning how to make fabric belts. And um, one of the belts we're making today is what we used um, on the dress, on the circle dress that we made last week. Okay, I, I said I was going to show you how to make the belts. Um, well, there are different ways of making belts. There are different kind of belts. You can just make a simple rope with fabric stitch it together and you have your long belt but the ones i'll be teaching us are a little bit more uh, uh technical because we're going to make it even though we're using fabric we're going to make it look as much as uh, the real one as we can okay so last uh there was a time a few sometimes back okay i made a dress it was a green dress and i posted it it has this belt and uh, somebody asked how it was made so i promised that i was going to show uh you or uh, teach on how to make fabric belts so that's why i'm bringing this class today this is actually the belt and um, there are different ways of making it depending on the material that you have you can see on my table different kind of uh, buckles you know for different methods of making belts i have different buckles here and um you for okay like let me start with this one this one that i have here is the same process for preparing the fabric the only difference is uh, the can I call this eyelet? I don't know. The opening here differs. So the opening here will depend on the kind of buckle you have. So I have this flat uh, buckle. So I have to get something like this. So you just create a space and insert this to create your belt. Okay. And most of these things, you can actually find it. It's easier to find it in shoemaker shops as in those who sell uh, shoe making materials it is a, like the highlight is much common there than in uh, dress making shops okay as in those who sell dress making materials all right so uh the kind of buckle will determine what you use usually this one is better suited for uh elastic belt i'll be showing you how to make that too the elastic come in different sizes different weights and uh different designs okay so the width of the elastic will determine the uh the buckle or the closure that you will need okay this suits this but it's small for uh, is uh, this this particular one is small for let's start with the fabric belt um so we'll be making a black one for last week's dress. Now, the width of your belt will determine on the width of your buckle. Okay, so I have like two different buckles that can be used, but this one is too tiny. If I'm going to make use of this, the width of my fabric as in the finished uh, product will be like a three quarter of an inch. So this one was like one and quarter so i want to use this i'll be using this uh, buckle so i need one and quarter as my finished uh, that is the maximum and uh, the least should be like one inch because you don't want it to be too tiny and moving around here so i've cut this is like three and a half inches of fabric and i need one and quarter it's going to be folded so you calculate um, uh, the width that you will require please just bear with me so that uh, you get it as I go on then the length will depend on your waist circumference so if your waist circumference is like 30 for the, the for the one I'm making like 30 plus like extra from 6 to 10 inches you want it to overlap and stop maybe at the side so you calculate that and improve increase it so I have here three and a half by 40 inches inclusive of the aiming that will be done on both edges so you take your iron 
and iron it flat now before i go on if you are using a very soft fabric you will need an interfacing i'm using a, a very thick chinos so i don't want to interface it in fact even if you want to interface it you can just use a very light one like what we call pff a very very light one but if you are using something like african print something that is not so tough you should use an interfacing something not bulky please don't use what we call the gum worthy or stay worthy any interfacing that is bulky you cannot use it you just need it to be stiff not bulky so just use a flat i mean an interfacing that is very that is stiff but not bulky okay so this uh like color stay you can make use of it or even paper stay but if you use paper stay it will not last much by the time you start washing over and over again it becomes soft okay so i'm not using any interfacing for this take it to the iron and iron this part flat so i'm taking him less than half an inch here then on this other side this is the way to calculate it for instance if i want to use one inch maybe my buckle is one inch you calculate you, you when you double it that's two inches then you calculate half inch on both sides to turn it in so that's three inches so that's how to make your calculation so for me this turning is not up to half inch i'm just turning it down first of all high on this edge then turn it in the center make the two points meet and high on it flat and basically you have your belt so what i will do now first of all i'm going to go to my sewing machine and stitch this edge so this will be the end of my belt you can give it any shape you want it to be you can make it straight or curve so let's assume i want to curve it so i'll just stitch like this then turn to the right side and top stitch i'm going to stitch it together on the right side stitch on it all the way down straight and then stitch here so i'm having two stitches on both sides just to create design if you like you can do three and um, to put another one in the middle just that is just design preference okay so let's stitch then i'll come back and show you how to fix the buckle okay okay so it's all stitched <clears throat> now we need to start uh to put the highlight and i advise you should use it the smallest one even if you get, get one that's smaller than this so that um since the uh, the buckle is just tiny you don't want it to be too big so that it doesn't fall or keep falling off from the buckle so you are going to need some tools to put this you need the this is what it's called a garment setting tool okay so it's just like plier with uh, on one side there's this pointed uh, edge and the other part is just empty like this then you need a puncher there's another puncher a bigger one that has different sizes like circle like this and it's also like a plier that you just put on your fabric and use it to punch the hole but i don't have that so i'll be using this type of puncher i think this is like size three i think size three so i'm going to use this to create holes in the fabric and then use the uh, setting tool to put the uh, highlight so first we need to mark where the uh, holes will be the first one will be the one that will be at the hand of the belt you know this is the top of the belt this is the hand so you have to be sure how the belt will be staying so the belt is like this it, it shows from the uh, way this this is supposed to go this way okay so you need enough to you know come in and so that you can stitch or if you don't want to stitch you can use um there's another uh two i mean uh how do I, I i can't remember the name that you can use to hold this down without um 
without stitching maybe i'll show you that and we'll use it so somewhere around here in the middle we're going to create the first hole so i'm going to mark it with my chalk the first one will be here then the next one will be you know when you tie it around the waist the tightest part well where, where do you want it to be okay maybe the waist is like um 30 30 30 inches so maybe you just measure it and you know do the next one then after that you can now space it maybe one inch apart one inch apart let's do one and a half inches apart so that it's not too close together okay so once you do like one two three two or three it's okay so i'm going to i can't uh i'm going to use hammer to create this hole i can't do it on the table so i'll go somewhere and do it then we'll come and fix the highlight i've created my holes and uh this is the uh um, uh, pins that i was talking about it comes in two pairs that you can use to hold it down so let's start by inserting the buckle okay sorry we need to put the highlight first so i just show you how to fix one or two so this is how the highlight looks like there's this flat part and this pointed part so the part that will be on top is this flat part so once you insert it in the hole you take your tool take the pointed part put it on the back and then press it uh, this can be used um, for dresses Sometimes you need it, you want to use it as a closure. So, you know, the right side must be on the same side. Okay, so that's it. I'll do the remaining two later on. So, let's just go ahead and fix this okay. this is not correct because the other part you know the belt has to come this way So don't make a mistake placing the buckle. Did I get it right? No, I didn't get it. It's supposed to be towards this side. Sorry. It's because of the way the... Uh -huh. So this is how it is, like this. So that when this one comes in, to lie like that okay so now to hold this down i'm going to use these pins also this one too you can get it from the shoe those who sells uh shoemaker material and i've created oh, using a smaller puncher if you don't have just use something sharp to create your holes then we insert the, the one with the pointed edge from the back And then place the rounded top on top of it let me see if I can make use of my tool although this tool is not meant for this I can't use it so I'll just use armor to you know to set this to keep it in place and with that my belt is ready another thing you can add is like a belt hole you know something like this to keep the excess the extended part of the belt from coming off so to do that, I've cut three inches of fabric, three inches by four. So it's the length would depend on the uh, the width of your belts. So 
fold it in half fold it in half then fold it like this then you stitch on top of it come to the end of the belt here you can give it some space maybe like uh, two to three inches depending on how long your excess uh, the excess of your belt is then we're going to stitch it first you're going to stitch like this to hold it down then take it to the other side just pull it like this and then stitch and you have it make sure it's not too big it's not protruding standing uh hop too much so make sure it's lying flat a little bit okay and then you can make this a little bit smaller also and so that's it our belt is ready the first part the fabric belt is ready the other one the elastic belt is much more easy uh, or easier it doesn't require uh, too many tools just your stitching so you're going to cut the elastic to the length of your waist you don't want it to be too tight so you can cut it exactly the length of your waist plus your seam allowance because you're going to be stitching maybe one one inch or two inches seam depending on what you want to use so take whatever closure you want to use separate it then insert and stitch insert the other one making sure is the right side because if you put it upside down it will not match okay and uh, stitch and there as simple as that your belt is ready like i said the elastic comes in different colors and shapes and style depending on what you want okay i think that's it for uh, this week's episode of inspired moment with jumoke so glad you joined this class hope to see you next week in another edition of inspired moment with jumoke and I, I keep saying it follow us on facebook follow us on instagram youtube but most importantly join the uh, the platform that we created specifically for this program inspire moment with jumoke is called uh, inspire moment with jumoke on telegram it's a telegram channel okay so join in so that you can easily access me for your questions and you know maybe suggestion on a class you want me to take all right see you next week bye